everyone. Good morning. We are on another adventure. This time we are headed to Mayaka State Forest, which is a little south, heading towards South Florida, a little south of Sarasota and Venice. So it's a couple hour drive for us. Yep. And uh, we are gonna attempt our bike packing again. And we're going out to a little primitive site a couple miles out. And uh, it's right on a river, oh, so it's yeah. supposed to be beautiful. We're gonna bring our hammocks and hang out for a night. Um, Maybe a little fly fishing. Oh yeah, not me, him. <laughs> <laughs> but this is our first time. We just started keto a few weeks ago, the keto diet. So, all right, I just stopped it because I burped. <laughs> but Joel said I had to keep it in there. <laughs> Gas this so anyway, <laughs> we started the keto diet a few weeks ago, so we're going to attempt this weekend um, eating full-blown keto, which is low carbs and higher fat. So it is working. We're having some we're, success. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're a lot. It's good. It. Yeah, it's good. So we're starting out this morning with our chaffles. In the morning, I'm making chaffles. <laughs> <laughs> so these are bacon, egg, and cheese chaffles that we made last night and warmed up this morning in the so. air fryer. Yes. Yeah, so, good breakfast, heading down south. Gonna hit the bikes, and uh, we'll show you all about bike packing if all goes well. <laughs> <laughs> it probably won't. Uh, <laughs> but, all, right, all right, we'll see you guys later. You. Bye. All right, we're going over the Skyway Bridge. The beautiful Sunshine Skyway Bridge. Yes. It is a glorious day, no pun intended. Uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's wintertime in Florida is magnificent. It's cool and crisp and it's a beautiful morning out. We are lucky to live in Florida. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Okay, we are uh, at Maca Forest. Bikes are all rigged up. Uh, on the front, we have our dry bag that has all of our uh, sleeping stuff in it, so hammock, underquilt, top quilt, all that stuff. We do have trekking poles even though we're on the mountain bikes because we use the trekking poles to pitch up our tarp. Uh, water bottles on the forks, our panniers on the back with all the rest of our stuff, cooking gear, clothes, my fly rod. Hopefully we'll see some action this weekend. And uh, Amy basically the same setup, so kind of crazy we're bringing all this stuff for one night, but we're going to be comfortable and uh, it should be a lot of fun. So, and these things. Oh, hold on, Amy has something to say. These are super heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm hoping I don't go. Whoop, yeah. Once right you put over. all, <laughs> once you put all that gear on it, they they do get it's heavy. Probably so. Probably fifty pounds. No. No, nah, probably thirty-five, 35 pounds, pounds worth of gear. gear. Yeah. And water. We got. Uh, we have three liters three. total on the forks, and another liter and a half uh, in the pannier. So yeah. should have plenty of water, and we can filter water if we need to. So we're hoping we're going to find the camp. Yeah, not too far. And then uh, get set up for camp and then go for a mountain bike ride. So, all right, guys, talk all to you right. later. All right, we are off. Head down the trail. Watch where you're going, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Took a little while to get the bikes rigged up. Uh, much longer than just doing a backpack on your back. But this is quick. So, you know, if you're going longer distances, this certainly is a lot easier than walking for 10 miles or hiking for 10 miles. And the reality is we probably brought more than we would have brought if we were just backpacking. Because we had the space. Yeah, we had the space. So it's one of those, if you got the space, you're gonna fill it up with something. And we did. Yeah, and you have, because we have bike packing, you were able to bring the backpack, the cooler backpack. Yep, so I got a cooler on my back with some ice, and so we'll have some fresh food tonight instead of just dehydrated yeah, food. Tonight is dehydrated right. food. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> fresh food for lunch and, breakfast. and for breakfast. But tonight's dehydrated. So we're on, uh, what was it, Slash Trail? Uh, Pine Slash, Slash Pine Trail, yeah. No, Pine's over there. Pine. Okay, I believe you. All right. And it's uh, about two and a half miles, I think, out. So. Yeah. All right, I'm putting the phone away before I fall over and break my head open. Nope. See you guys. Okay, just stopping for a quick drink of water. Just went through some sugar sand. That was a 
pain in the butt. Yes, it was. <laughs> I was going to use different words, but then I decided not to. PG. P right. So, what are your uh, first impressions of bike packing so far? It's good. Yeah? It's good. Yeah, I just need to be more on the bike, so um, my legs are more used to biking. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that would help. And then yes. adding, you know, 25, 35 pounds, more pounds. But yeah. no, I mean, we've already gone 1.68 in. 19 minutes yeah, and that's so. with a couple stops so right. so we got about a uh, half mile left to the campsite ish uh, i think closer to a mile but mm -hmm. i don't know and it is slash pine trail i was right joel earlier. was right we saw a sign <laughs> so i'm sorry to you there you, you go right. you should be <laughs> all right well, we're gonna hop back on the bikes and we'll probably see you at the campsite yes all right guys all right we've arrived at the river campsite and it is absolutely gorgeous look at that there's, what is that, Mayaka River? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And uh, it was exactly like 2.5 miles out. It's a good ride. From yeah. the East River uh, parking lot. So we have a big fire ring. We have a picnic table, a grill. And yeah, we brought our hammock. So we're gonna hang them up right over there. Um, really nicely kept and yeah, it's beautiful. And right in the water. Yeah, we're gonna walk out to the dock. So <laughs> this place actually has its own little private dock. So you can boat out here too, or paddle or something. Look at that. Joel's gonna try to go fly fishing, um, but it's kind of windy out. So look how gorgeous this is. I could live out here. All right. Yes, this is a primitive campsite. We are roughing it. <laughs> it's only primitive because there's no bathroom and no water and no electricity. Um, right. But it's gorgeous out here. So we're going to set up our hammocks, kind of get situated, and see what we got planned for the rest of the day. Okay, hammocks are pretty much up, and we are hoping to not use our our uh, tarps tonight uh so we are diying <laughs> what do you what do you call those uh, uh tarp skins snake skins, snake skins. Yeah. so basically it's a, a mesh net you can go to the top of your like mine you can yeah. see it over top of your so tarp. that's his diy right so if you're not using it you can put that snake skin on there it keeps your tarp up out of your way but then all of a sudden if you need to use it quickly it's up and pull that snake skin out pegs in or your steaks in you're ready to go. Right. That's the plan. So this is basically until we can buy a new one because we've just never thought about it. This is one of those uh, spongy things you wash yourself with. <laughs> you cut it in the middle and it's all one big tube. And then he's gonna wire tie wire tie? Zip tie zip tie that end and we will be all set. So this is just for this trip because it does tear pretty easily, but, um, but yeah. Flapping around, it's I know, it's much quieter now. So hopefully we're not gonna um, need it tonight. It shouldn't be too dewy. The, the um, dew point's pretty low, so yay. Thanks. All right, we're all set up. And now we're eating lunch. And this is something that we brought. It's just chicken salad with some bacon in it, some spinach. And we uh, had it in our backpack cooler. So it's not really backpacking food, but it's... Uh, it's delicious food. It's though. delicious and it's keto friendly. So Spinach and bacon. Yep. And mayonnaise chicken and, and chicken. Can't go wrong. Some hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> yum, yum. Should be delicious. Yep. Okay, Joel's working on a critter bag. We would normally call a bear bag, but There's we don't no have bears bear. here. <laughs> yep. So you take your line, you have a carabiner on the end, you throw it over so it's the up, limb. Way up there, right? okay. And you clip your carabiner on that line, and that gives you a way that you can clip all your bags and everything. Food bags, trash bags, anything you may have, you can clip on that carabiner. Now the cool thing is, Rather than trying to tie this line off to a tree someplace and hope you're not holds or whatever, you can literally take this and back up here a little bit and pull this right up the tree. Okay. 
Okay. All right. You following me so far? Following, yeah. All right. Now here's the fun part. Super easy not to tie. Come check it out. What we're gonna do is we have this little stainless steel rod. You can use a branch or something. I like this because it's really smooth and it's really strong. It's not gonna break. And you basically do two, two loops. You do a loop, and then back on that first loop, you do another loop. Same way. Stick that through there, and it cinches down itself, and that will not slip. You can see it's not gonna slip at all. But the cool thing is, when you wanna get the bag down, you can slide this out, and it comes down, or you can break it, and now when I let go, this will come down, and that stainless steel rod will hook on that carabiner, and it doesn't go anywhere. I don't have to worry about trying to tie this and untie it. All I do is pull that down, take it back off, put it back up. And I'll just take this excess string rope. And the bag is hung. And now look. You can take it up and down all you want without having to tie and retie and all those things. So, it and it's great. no animal's going to get that. Nope. So right now we're just worried about raccoons, possums, raccoons, that kind of stuff. Yeah, just keep an ants also. Yeah, garbage oh, yeah. in there. Ants. So keep the ants out of yeah, the garbage, yeah. that kind of stuff, you know. And it's up out of the way. You can walk underneath it. And again, you don't have to tie and retie every time when I bring it up and down. Just pull it up and down. Right. Cool. So. so this is our cool backpack cooler that we just got. It's an ice mule. And uh, since we're not backpacking, we decided to um, bring a cooler out. And Joel can just throw this on his back. You want to model it, how it goes on your back? Sure. So we're not going to open it. It's kind of like a dry bag. Um, we're not going to open it because we've got food in it. And it's got a time on like Facebook, you're probably gonna see ads for these things it's all over the place, but it's minimalist, it's kind of comfortable, it's pretty light. Yeah, let me That's see. That's what we liked about it. And uh, you know, it's not too big. No, um, there's some air in there. We've got about a half a bag of ice and a bunch of other food and drinks and that kind of Fresh stuff. Fresh food instead of eating all freeze dried food. Yeah. And so, the cool thing is when you're not using it at home, you lay it flat, dry it out, dry it out, lay it flat, and roll it up, and so you can store it. Keeps it. Yeah, nice yeah. and small, almost anywhere. Right, right. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's our first time using it, and we oh. like it. We'll see how it keeps everything. But we're only out here a day, so it's not like we need things cool for multiple right. days. But yeah, some... And it was pretty comfortable on your back. Yeah, not bad. You know, when on you're... the bike, it was a little heavy. Yeah. You know, just kind of weight on my body. Hurt my bottom a little yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit extra weight on my bottom. Yep. Um, but it didn't move around too much, didn't bounce around on my back when we were yeah. paddling. So Good. Was, or pedaling. Pedaling. Yeah. So Yeah, great. and we're hoping to be able to use it on the paddle boards too. And it's since it's it's waterproof. I mean it's just like a dry bag. It folds right down like a dry bag. Um, you know, where it folds over and then collapse collapses yep. shut. So yeah. Good cool. stuff. All right, now the tedious task of picking up little pieces of kindling and firewood. I just got bit by the biggest ant. Holy cow, it hurts so bad. Trying to get some wood. <laughs> I, thought, I thought somebody stuck an ice pick in my hand. Oh. It's swollen up a little bit. And for some reason, that part of my hand right now is sweating. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's, yeah. Woo. We think we got some ice in the uh, ice Oh, beer. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. All right, so yeah. So now we have to pick up all these little bitty pieces. Just hoping for a downed log someplace. Yeah. I think we're gonna be walking a while <laughs> to find that. Look at that. All right, here comes Amy. Man, she hit the mother load. Yeah, That's like 15 minutes worth of firewood. Yeah, but it's all pine, right? Yeah, it's pine. That's all right. So, so we got out here. Yeah, it'll burn kind of what? Smoky? Uh, not smoky, but a good pop. Oh yeah. Because of the sap inside of it, it's dry, so it shouldn't smoke too bad, but right. it will probably pop. Yes, we need a all-nighter, but we don't want to cut anything down, so we're just looking for deadfall. Oh yeah, we've never cut anything down. No, so actually, when we got here, there was people who had put um, um, eye bolts into oh, the bad. pine tree for hanging their hammocks, which is don't just ever stupid. Do that. Yeah, don't put a screw in a tree. No, bring you the yep. right stuff. Get a good strap, hang your hammocks from a strap, and uh, leave the trees alone so the next people can enjoy them and not have to deal with sap coming out where you put your screw in. <laughs> Maybe that's why there's sap running <laughs> out all the trees. That's probably right. <laughs> all right, go all right, look, for look for more wood. All right, we are overachievers. Look at all this wood that Joel's carrying back. I just, we just hauled a bunch back between the two of us. I think we have 
a big enough haul for the night. Look at that. Nice <laughs> You're bored. I don't That's know. hilarious. Uh, but we uh, worked smarter than harder. Isn't that your saying? Yeah. We brought our bags, our dry bags, and put all the stuff in it. So. Yeah. Fire collection bag now. No. <laughs> it's not a. It's not uh, a dry bag. It's a fire collection. Not bag. Not bad, That was all. Just dead fall. He picked up off the ground. Yeah. Amy found like this mother load. Yeah. I got so excited. <laughs> there was so. a path that led to nowhere. At the end of the path was just all this stuff. So can't wait to start our fire. Holy I wish God. we could start it now. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Joel's out here fly fishing. It's been a while since he's got his pole out. He's not catching a whole lot though. Yeah, but it's fun. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's windy. Yeah. Watch this guy. Again, just this dock that is beyond description. This is uh, super peaceful out here. Amy's ignoring me, pretending I'm not here. <laughs> yes, I am. It's really nice out here, huh, babe? Yes, it's gorgeous. So the cool thing, though, is because they have this dock, you can actually get here by boat. So we might have to buy a boat. <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking for an excuse. So... Yeah, um, so I imagine that this is really popular for boaters because you can pull up and uh, tie for boat and you know bring more stuff out here than you would normally bring if you were backpacking or bikepacking. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna go sit next to my lovely bride and enjoy the rest of this uh, sunset, I guess. We are going to uh, make some new dehydrated foods tonight. Um, ooh, that almost caught your eyebrows. <laughs> so we're boiling some water and uh, we're going to have next, next mile meals. Next mile meals. This is the beef tacos. We're making one beef taco and one buffalo ranch chicken. We're each going to have half. Um, but they are keto friendly meals. Um, a little bit more expensive, um, but it's hard to eat keto, especially if you didn't have a cooler with, you know, with ice in it. So, uh, very excited to try these. All right, all right. We are opening the beef tacos. It's been actually 11 minutes, so it's a little past. Feels pretty runny. Does it? It does feel runny. So, so we I'm did not... bring cheese tacos that it, I made before but, we left. But. But it may not. Uh, it's runny. There's, there's definitely juice in there. Okay. I'm gonna put this cheese in, see if that thickens it up a little bit. Okay. So we're dorks. We vacuum seal all of our food that we put in the cooler. So that way it doesn't get all wet and mushy and this and that. So here's a little vacuum sealed <laughs> package of cheese. <laughs> but it's great because then you can just sew it in the cooler. You don't have to worry about anything getting messed up and it's easy. And right. So uh, water got in like the Publix bag, but it didn't get into our food. Right. So yeah, we're kind of dorks. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right, well, we're ready for the other one then. That's been... We made the PEBs out of the thing. Instead. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is the buffalo ranch chicken. And that one we have, they gave us a ranch pack. Yeah. 
We were hoping for a pretty sunset, but it's not happening. This looks a little bit watery also. So they usually are, and you were kind of heavy on the water, I a think. A little bit, yeah. We've well, had a times where it's not been dehy it's not been hydrated enough, so we tend to go on the higher end of water. We do. This looks delicious, though. All right, <laughs> Joel's gonna attempt this. <laughs> I think this is gonna get all over us. This is a horrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> well, it's really good, really but. Good. Well, it'll probably be, if you didn't have this shell, it would probably be better. It's really good. Just don't put it down. Right. We brought our spoons in case we need to eat the rest of it. But, mm -hmm. all right. I'm going to go eat mine now, too. Is it on my chin? Mm, maybe a little. <laughs> all right. So we ate those. Very mm. yummy. I think we would definitely have that again. Just maybe eat it so with water. a bowl. Yeah. yeah. Not so as much water and then just eat it with a spoon. Yep. So now we're just gonna pour this buffalo <laughs> ranch chicken. That's what it's supposed to be. I know. Uh, I'm not sure. We're just gonna pour it over our taco stuff. It's still really hot. Ooh, oh, don't, I was gonna say, don't give me all the juice. I'm trying not to, but it's so hot. <laughs> I'll know? do it. You got it? I have like <laughs> a bowl full of juice. Yeah, we can mix and match. We'll figure it out. There you go, perfect. I have a bowl full of juice That's perfect. and Joel has a bowl full of food. <laughs> so anyway, it doesn't look very good. We'll go see we'll what see. it we'll go see what it tastes like when we I don't need much more. Yeah, we got stuff to put on it. We got some garlic salts and some pepper and other junk if we need to. So we'll bring it down to the dock. Yep. See how this one is. Alright, so we're back out on the dock. So remember that you normally would not have these on a plate because you wouldn't split it. You would just eat it out of the bag. Right. So it probably wouldn't have looked as runny. <laughs> <laughs> but we did add a little bit of hot sauce and a little bit of garlic salt. So now try it and see and what And why do we put think. them on a plate, Amy? We put them on a plate so we could split them? So we could split them. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. we're trying all four of the, the next mile meals so we can see which ones we like. Right. So these are our first two. Yep. And uh, this one scares me a little bit. <laughs> Actually, got a pretty good flavor. Mm -hmm. I did it, we did add some hot sauce, so that yeah. helps. Um, but it's the chicken, it's lots of chicken, so yeah. not much besides chicken, so it's kind of you know mealy a little bit yeah. with the chicken. Yeah, I agree. Um, That's I had yeah. just a little Taco bite when was I was up there. Taco one's definitely better. Mm -hmm. Definitely better. So, so but, but it's, not, it's, it's, it's definitely edible. Yeah, it'll keep us alive. <laughs> well, that's we good. Think, we hope. <laughs> Since we're only just leaving tomorrow, I think right. we can do without a little extra food. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, enjoy your dinner. <laughs> All right, dinner's done. We just started the fire. Like I said, we've got lots of firewood. So gonna burn pretty quick each one but Joel just got it started. It's gonna be a nice evening. It's cooling down just a little bit, not too humid. You can enjoy the night. All right so we got the fire up good speed. <laughs> we just had the scare of our life. My gosh! <laughs> I guess whoever was here before us Thought it'd be a great idea if they would maybe put some fireworks down in the ashes and the coals. So we started a fire, life was great, and eventually the fire reached those fireworks. And oh. my heart's pounding about 100 miles an hour. It just started like hissing and sparks flying all well, over. Well, luckily it didn't fly much out of because we had so much wood in there, but yeah. Yeah, it could have been Ooh. dangerous because it was not a uh, like a firecracker, it was more like a, a you know, bomb like rocket, rocket kind of thing. Like it wanted to go fly. <laughs> All right, there you so go. now we are going to have a relaxing night <laughs> with our awesome big fire. Yep. Look at that thing. Lots of firewood. So enjoy your night, and we will see everybody. We'll probably see you again before eh, we go. We bed, might. Probably. Right. If not, we'll see you in the morning. There you go. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Unbelievable. Those hammocks are awesome, oh, aren't they? Yeah. Hammocks are great. 
And it was the first time we slept with no tarp over us and no bug net. Right. So just stars and uh, it was awesome. So we are out on the dock this morning. Where else would we be? <laughs> for this. We're never leaving. I know. We're never. We're just going to live here. For this beautiful sunrise. Not sure this captures the beauty of it, but. Hey gang, we are back in the hammocks. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Amy? Gang. <laughs> At least I didn't use word, Amy used the word rustle earlier. <laughs> I heard you rustling around last night. I'm, who uses <laughs> rustle? What kind of word is rustle? You just use gang. I just use gang. <laughs> oh Jesus, so. So we got out of the hammocks uh, this morning, watched the sun come up, had some coffee, great sunrise, um, beautiful morning, but then the hammocks were just calling. So we're back in the hammocks again for a little bit, just kind of resting, really kind of regretting, or not regretting, not looking forward to actually getting out and starting the day because it's just so comfortable. But eventually we'll make it out and make some breakfast and uh, start the day, but for now, it's hammock time, so. Got our top quilts. Yeah, they're super light and super warm, so all you feel is just this warmth, but like no weight on top of you. Oh my God, it's so fantastic. So yeah, it's a uh, gorgeous morning, so. Time for, Time for breakfast. We decided we had to get out of the hammocks. Yeah, well, the problem is the sun came up and it was hit me right in the eyes. <laughs> And it was getting a little bit I warm. told him just to close his eyes and that would be fine. <laughs> I don't listen. So this morning's breakfast, scrambled eggs with sausage and cheese and all that good stuff. And we said we're dorks and we vacuum seal everything. So this isn't vacuum sealed, but welcome to scrambled eggs. We scrambled them before we left the house, put them in a water bottle so we don't have to deal with all the stuff, the shells and everything else. Sausage vacuum sealed, cheese vacuum sealed, and... A pat of butter. I was going to say a pat of butter. We had to rustle it up. <laughs> but, <laughs> but look at this cool pan that we got. So jet boil and this little attachment goes on and then you push this your This is our first on. time using that. So hopefully it'll work good. And, and actually the handle it it, does fold it in. folds in and there's a little spatula. Right. right? That little yeah. spatula is, goes Snaps right in. in place. Like, I'm not sure why it's all black around here already. Oh. Weird. Weird. So... So we're going to make some scrambled eggs and then uh, sit out on the dock and enjoy breakfast. Yes. Breakfast is served. Divide it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't have less than Joel. Yeah, and he's always particular to make sure that we get equal amounts. <laughs> Look at this, a real breakfast. Right? We usually eat. Yeah, freeze dried freeze stuff for dried breakfast. Stuff, so, yeah. eggs and sausage Look and cheese. That. So, yeah, that jet boil pan really worked out well. Yeah. It's uh, super non stick. We put some butter Look in there, it. but I'm not sure we needed it. Yeah, so, so we'll just wipe that out. Put, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put some hot sauce and salt and pepper on it. If you can't tell, we like hot sauce. We put it on like every meal so far this trip. Chicken <laughs> salad. <laughs> <laughs> we did. So. All righty. And uh, actually, hold on. This is going to be, see this works. It may not work. We'll find out. What? I will just, just, wait, wait, wait. Where's my hot sauce? Ah, so we got these little containers and I'm going to hold out here. They're little, like, almost eyedropper containers, and uh, you can get them on Amazon, but we got them, and uh, they're super, like, watertight. You can squeeze and nothing comes out. So we put hot sauce and sriracha and that kind of stuff in there to bring camping. So they're small, so they're not too heavy, and just the right amount. They're pretty damn cool. Oop, I swore. Sorry. <laughs> oh, shh, don't tell anybody. All right. Unfortunately, this trip has come to an end. <laughs> 
this has been one of the best camping trips we've been on in a long time. It's so been great. We hate to go. But back to civilization. But yeah, just a great trip. I mean, really couldn't ask for anything better. Yep. So hopefully you enjoyed. We can still get eaten by bugs. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed the video and, and all of our fun stuff. It was kind of fun. It was. Yeah, we had a great time. So bikes are packed up and uh, we got a two and a half mile bike trip back to the car. Yep. And we will be back. We actually looked at this campsite and it is booked for like the next couple months and then it gets too hot. So yeah. hopefully we'll get back here soon because this is definitely one of our, our top favorites. So keep watching and uh, we'll see you guys soon. See you guys. Thanks. Bye.